Welcome back into Talking Fitchbury. How are you doing today, Preston? Fantastic. Fantastic? Yeah. I'm doing good, too. Oh. Okay. I mean, I didn't ask, but <laughs> hey, you know. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Got him, right? I just thought I'd throw you off a little bit. You can't throw me off. God, I can't. You know what I mean? It's centrifugal force. Well, let me uh, throw you this one here, then. Why don't you uh, lead us off in uh, the construction updates on our little Verona Road project? Hey, no problem. I'll tell you about the Verona Road construction update through October 9th through 14th. Here we go. Hit it. Fitchburg area. Verona Road from Fitchburg Road underpass north to Raymond Road. There will be nightly single lane closures scheduled on Verona Road northbound and southbound within these limits, 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. Monday night through Friday morning, and 8 p.m. through 10 a.m. Friday night to Saturday morning. Uh, access to and from Verona Road at Carriage Street is, of course, permanently closed. It's done. So, of course, use other routes. And then access changes in effect at Verona Road and Chalet Gardens Road. Uh, access to and from southbound Verona Road at Chalet Gardens is permanently closed. Only right turns are allowed to and from Verona Road northbound at Chalet Gardens Road. And I'd like to say that that is ultimately going to be gone. So you can enjoy this for a little bit longer, but no more. It's just permanently close. So yeah. stop you trying can, to enjoy it. You can make <laughs> you can make right turns on this, but eventually that's going away too. So indeed, it's on its way out. Indeed. All right, and then just noting that this intersection is going to be permanently closed, like you just said. <laughs> so thank you very much. I jumped uh, in there. And uh, let's just move along. How about that? Okay, let's go down to County PD between Fitzroy Road and Spoke Drive. I'll hit, I'll take it up from here. And uh, what do we got here? Nightly senior lane closure scheduled on County PD westbound and eastbound at the Verona Road intersection. This takes place 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. Monday through Friday mornings. Uh, and Friday evening, you've got 8 p.m. to 10 a.m. into Saturday morning. So be alert as crews and equipment are in the area. You got to be safe when you go through these construction zones, my friends. And coming up, last but not least, or more, there oh, it is, Anton yep. Drive and Carriage Street intersection, as I mentioned at the top of the show. This is closing uh, late, late Tuesday, uh, but it'll be, it should be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday uh, as it closes here. So uh, be aware of that. And that is all subject to the weather. So you got to be careful on that. Remember that you can hit up Wisconsin DOT's website, Project 511. Verona Road or that Verona Road Business Coalition. Yeah, they're still out there, still working hard for the businesses. Check out their website for deals, ways to get around construction, and more. All right. Awkward break. Switching breath. gears. Let's move down to the Lazy Road Reconstruction Project. Again, October 9th through 14th. It's the same week, believe wow. it or not, no matter which project you're looking at, Jeremy. <laughs> so here we go. Here's what you can uh, anticipate for them to be working on this week. Uh, surface paving continues. That's weather dependent. Pavement marking, placement of topsoil, landscaping, seeding, and placement of erosion mat, electrical wiring and new street lights, planting of trees, shrubs, and perennials, of course. None of those annuals get out of here. Uh, and then miscellaneous punch list items are being worked on throughout the project. Uh, there is a quick note, actually, here at the top that I wanted to touch on, that it says uh, the project appears possibly to be completed, but in reality, there's so many items that they're working on. So, you know, all the same rules still apply. No phones, take it slow, continue on. And uh, something that I've just seen repeatedly over and over and over again is the traffic flying through this area. And what Preston just said is 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 why we're going to read you this stuff. Traffic. You got to be careful where you're driving. We have had traffic uh, had traffic drive into the new asphalt uh, too soon. Watch for pavement markings and please do not drive on the fresh paint. Do not move traffic control drums, barricade signs, etc. Now come on, really, come on. Yeah, right. come on, guys. We are witnessing many people getting out of their cars and moving these items. Traffic is being rerouted around paving operations and uh, or being asked to wait uh, for rolling operations. Micro Road will be closed during pavement operations. Only school buses will be allowed through. Contra uh, contractors have the right of way when you're in there, if you have to be in there. And my gosh, slow down. Please slow down in the construction zone. I just cannot believe... How many people race up there and yep. come out of there just flying? Uh, you're making it dangerous for the workers, yourself, and everybody around you. So hey, stop please. being so selfish out there. <laughs> we all got places to be. I'm sorry. This personally makes me upset. Me I too. Just, I just I'm don't upset. get it. Yeah. So uh, 
it's road is closed to through traffic. That means local traffic only. You will get fined if you get uh, found out. That's true. That's Figure true. that one and out. You've been witnessed. Yeah, you've been witnessed. We, we've told you. <laughs> All right, that is your construction update, and I've done venting. Coming up next, we'll recap some more of the great events that happened over this past weekend. Next, right here on Talking Fitchburg.